Welcome to At Your Pace Online's annual federal tax refresher course for tax preparers. The IRS requires these next six hours of course material be broken up into three parts, or domains. One will focus on new tax law and recent updates affecting tax preparation in 2021. The second domain will provide a general review of common forms and how to fill them out with a taxpayer. The final domain focuses on tax practices, including procedures and your professional responsibility as a tax preparer. This full AFTR course is a high-level, basic 1040 refresher course focusing on tax law pertinent to the preparation of 2020 individual tax returns. But we'll start with new tax law and recent updates, Domain 1. In order to participate in the annual filing season program for non-credentialed returning preparers, you must go into your preparer tax ID number or PTIN account and sign the Circular 230 Consent Statement. If you haven't done this already, we'll walk you through how to do it now. Active PTIN account holders should have received instructions via email on how to sign the Circular 230 consent form. If you don't have an active online PTIN account, that should be your first step. Go to the IRS PTIN system menu and select the Create Account button. To renew your account, take note of the frequently asked question on the right-hand side that says, How do I renew my PTIN? Follow their instructions and log in as a returning user. There is a paper option to renew if you'd prefer, but you have to request it. Once you've logged in, you'll be asked to read a 44-page document which quotes part of the Code of Federal Regulations that applies to tax preparation. You must promise to adhere to the obligations outlined in Subpart B and Section 10.51 about duty, competence, and reputable conduct in order to participate in the annual filing season program. Those who meet the requirements to participate in this program will be identified on a public database hosted by the IRS called the Directory of Federal Tax Return Preparers with Credentials and Select Qualifications. Finally, be aware that some unenrolled, returning preparers are exempt from this AFTR course requirement, but will still need to meet other program requirements. Make sure you've verified what requirements apply to you before continuing. If an enrolled agent elects to take an AFTR course, they won't receive credit toward their enrolled agent CE requirements. Check the exemption chart provided by the IRS to see if you meet the necessary exemption criteria to forego taking this class. For those of you sure that you must complete the 6-hour AFTR course, we'll begin with annual inflation adjustments. Let's get started.